What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday. We're going back to knots today. After we did the uni knot recently with trying to test the number of turns and see how that affected the strength of the knot, I did get a number of uh, messages asking to do other knots that way. This is one that will do exactly the same way. Uh, in fact, with just a couple more turns. The blood knot is a knot that I use quite often when I'm trout fishing and also in saltwater fishing, bonefish leaders, permit leaders, to attach uh, similar pound tests uh, together in a very strong way that is uh, a nice smooth knot if you do it properly. And um, today we're going to test uh, 15 pound to 12 pound. That's a pretty common uh, leader connection. And what we're trying to determine here <clears throat> is we know the blood knot's a strong knot. There's tons of videos out there about how to tie the blood knot. What we're trying to determine today is how many turns of the blood knot is the maximum strength. So what I did is I've already prepared this and I have tied every one of these knots with the same Daiwa J Fluoro 15 pound to 12 pound and we're going to test it with the Next Tech force tester and I have one with two turns. So two turns on one side, two turns on the other, three turns, four turns, five turns, six turns, seven turns and then I jumped up to 12 turns. Okay, I would really wouldn't ever tie one with 12 turns, but I want to see what happens. I want to see if if uh, two turns is really weak. Maybe maybe we find a sweet spot in the middle here with five, six turns, something like that. And uh, then we find that maybe 12 turns is not as strong. I don't know. That's my theory going into it. So we're going to get started right now. We're going to start with the two, two turns on the blood knot. We're testing it right here. And... Boom. 6.86 pounds. 6.86 pounds. That doesn't sound very good when you're tying 12 pound to 15 pound. So that's where we are with the two turn. Three turns. Let's see if that's any stronger. So that's three turns on both sides. Okay. A little better. 7.66 pounds. And I'm looking at it. It's breaking right in the knot. So 7.66 pounds. Let's go with four turns. Four turns. 8.14. So, so far, the more turns, stronger the knot. Let's go with five turns. 8.81. Again, breaking right where it's supposed to, right in the knot. Now six turns. Wow, big difference. 12.88 pounds. 12.88 pounds and very interesting here. The six turn didn't even break at the blood knot. It broke at the, the connection to the scale. So I'm going to tie this again. We're going to try this one more time. Six may be the magic number here. What I forecast, let me tie another loop knot in the end here. We're going to try this again. See if we can get it to break in the blood knot. So 12.88 pounds. That's the best so far. That's six turns. Then it broke at eight. No, it broke in this. I haven't even gotten it to break yet. That broke in the, it didn't break in the blood knot. Let's try seven, seven turns and see where we go there. Seven turns broke. Again, at the, at the connection here, hmm, that's going to be a problem. Let me see if I can tie a little stronger knot. Try a, a non-slip mono loop. Okay, so this is going to be seven turns. We've got a stronger connection at the scale. 11.02 broke right in the blood knot that time. That's the right place for it to break. And we're going to jump up to 12 pounds. It'll probably break at the scale here, but if it does, I'll tie another one. 12 turns broke in the in the blood knot and 10.31. 10.31. So what that tells me is that kind of what I suspected is that the two turns was going to be the weakest 
as we move into the mid-range here, the five, six, seven turns, that's going to be kind of the strongest. And as we go above that into 12, which is, in my opinion, completely unnecessary, 12 is stronger than two, but it's not as strong as seven. Okay, so for the purposes of this, tying 12 to 15 pound, we came up with the strongest number of turns was seven. Seven turns. So what that tells you is that if the blood knot is something that you use, you should test it with the type of monofilament or fluorocarbon that you're using. Use a scale. Test out exactly what you're tying. And the number of turns that will create the strongest knot may be different for 20 to 30 pound than it would be from 12 to 15 pound. So if you test these things at home, you will be able to tie the strongest knots for when you're out on the water. And that's what we're doing. Control the controllable. It's the easiest way to become a better fisherman. If your knots are breaking at four pounds versus 12 pounds, you're going to lose a lot more fish. So if you just take the time to test these out or at least listen to these podcasts and get an idea of what a stronger knot would be and how to tie that with the number of turns, you may be able to increase the strength of your knots just by taking one more turn or two more turns on the knot. Okay, that's how to Tuesday for this week. If you find your sweet spot with the blood knot or the uni knot, I would love to know about it. Text me at 305-930-7346 and let me know what your strongest knot is and how many turns you're making. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next week. 